Hi. I have been on Facebook posting and it's like every time I post on Facebook I know that they are messages to inspire us to a higher level of love, life, you know. But this morning, I had to come and put this out to the other platforms that I'm on. And what it was about, <clears throat> excuse me, is still early. It's about 6.30 a.m. But what, what, what the post on Facebook was about is bring to the table. You know, a lot of us, we are qualifying people regarding relationships. <clears throat> Excuse me. Regarding relationships, because I know that the Father, God, universe has transitioned to where power couples are being put together so they can represent what's going on with the energies of this new table turning. So the tables have turned, and what we need to bring to the table, and to stretch it across the board, it doesn't have to be only regarding relationships. This, this goes across the board. Relationships, business, any type of connection. These are some of the things that we need to be bringing to the table. But back to relationships. We set our requirements for a mate, maybe how they look, how their shape, how much money they make. race, religion, and if we're going by those criteria, we're missing the mark. We're not getting the message regarding the happiness we're looking for. We're, we haven't found out how to tap into that divine connection, divine what to look for on a higher level to achieve what everyone is looking for, love and happiness, peace, joy. Let me put my glasses on. But bringing to the table, it led me to go to, and I didn't put together tables have turned. That came to me just now. You know, the father said that the tables have turned. The wealth of the wicked is turned over to the righteous. You know, the tables have turned. What was last shall be first, and the first shall be last. The tables have turned. And it just came to me flowing since the tables have turned, here is what we bring to the table. What we bring to the table and what we need to discern that someone else is bringing to the table. So what to bring to the table led me to go to the prayer in the Bible, Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. 
he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now, to back it up and see what needs to be brought to the table by all that are involved. But I'm going to center it around relationships, what power couples are bringing to the table. The Lord is my shepherd. I'm breaking, breaking down this prayer. And this is the universe, God, the Father, the Most High, speaking to us on what, how to discern what is being put before us, the offers that are coming before us. It starts out with the Lord is my shepherd. They have to have some sort of anchor. In this life, humanity, it has to be connected with some so, some form of spirituality. I can't judge your anchor or say you need to do it this way or that way because by now we all should allow live and let live. And everybody's source is not the same. So as long as the ultimate goal is love, I think we're headed in the same direction. No matter who, what form of spiritual anchor you have, as long as the foundation, as the goal is love, I think it's okay. I know it's okay to have a different anchor, a different title, a different name. But it is not about the name or the a title. It's about the ultimate goal is to come from a life of love. So your religion or your belief may be different than mine. Your spirituality and religion and spirituality, totally two different things. We're talking about spirituality, not religion. That has torn, divided us for ages. So we're off of religion, separation, division. That has been a device of the enemy to separate a house divided against itself shall not stand. So it's time to build, get off of the foundation of religion because you don't, you're not Baptist and I'm, I'm Catholic. We can't be together. We don't believe the same. So you're going to hell. That's done. The tables have turned. It's a spiritual reality, not religion. Spiritual reality means believe as you believe. But as far as spirituality of love, let that be the common anchor, love. The Lord is my shepherd. Let it be a foundation, a anchor, a life that has an anchor. Couples coming together where each have anchors, a spiritual life. My spiritual life don't have to be like yours. But we have that common ground 
of building upon love. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. When you have that anchor coming from a foundation of love, everything else will take care of itself because it's certain things that love does not do. I really don't want to go into details about what love do and don't do because if you're walking in love, the true love, you already don't do it. So you shall not want because from a foundation of love, from a foundation of spirituality of love, you're taken care of. All of your needs are met. met. You shall lack no good thing. You're protected. You're provided for. You already feel love. You already are happy. So it's time to have the unity of power couples of divine connections to come together and that part not be lacked of companionship of a divine mate. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. And we're talking about bringing, what are we bringing to the table? What I'm bringing to the table, what your companion is bringing to the table of this love, of this power couple, of this divine connection. They're bringing together to the table green pastures, peace, peace on all sides. We don't have drama nowhere in our lives. I don't have drama with my family. I don't have drama with with my children's parent, other parent. I don't have drama with my finances. I don't have drama with enemies. No, we have peace on all sides. Don't bring me your drama to the table. What we're laying down on the table is peace. Because it's coming from a foundation of love. You may not have the amount of money. Possessions. That's not what we're bringing to the table. Because if you're coming from a foundation of love, all of that will be taken care of. In due time, in process, (laughs) this is a foundation that's being built upon. Some folks will bring financial blessings to the table as well. But that is not the criteria. Because when that divine couple is being put together, all else will be taken care of. You shall lack no good thing. All of your needs will be met. So on this table, we have peace. We have provision. We have a spiritual anchor. He leadeth me beside still waters. Again, you're not bringing chaotic situations. No, you're laying down calmness, rest. We've been through the fight. We've been through the struggle. We've been through hell. We need rest, restoration, peace. Rest. Rest, peace on all sides. We don't need the tidal waves, the rocky, rocky waters, the, 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 the tossing to and fro. No, we need security, solid, calmness, a sound mind coming to the table. He restoreth my soul. 
Exactly. Restoration. Recreation. Fun. Exhale. Peace. Relax. God got this. If God got this, there is peace, assurance. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. For whatever source you are believing in, you have faith in as your anchor, it's certain things you don't do. Because you're serving a higher source, a higher power. You have something other than this natural to live for. You want to please a higher calling than what's normal here on this land. So you're doing it for a higher purpose. And by putting it on the table... The other must have a higher purpose of why they're existing as well. Not only for my life here on this land. No, I have a higher purpose. A spiritual calling. A foundation of love is a higher calling. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I don't have to be insecure in my relationship. I don't have to doubt in this divine connection. I don't have to have lack of trust. That companion is putting on the table. You can trust me. Yes, I'm human. Yes, we will have ups and downs, but we will be in agreement when we're disagreeing, we still will be in agreement because we're human. Yes. But I don't have to, who is he cheating on me? They, I know they, no, we don't have to doubt that companion will not feed us insecurity to even give reasons to think they will keep us sound at peace Knowing that we have their attention, that their spiritual anchor has their attention. So if their spiritual anchor has their attention, they will come forth as God. No doubt, no shame, no insecurity, no, no feeding egos. No, I don't have to fear evil. I don't have to doubt this. I know. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. They're feeding me peace, security, love, joy. They're feeding me inspiration. They're feeding me Hope, faith, they're feeding me life. They're feeding me a foundation that can grow. They're feeding me something that is solid on a solid rock, not sinking sand. They're comforting me. They're restoring me. As well as their restoring, comforting, security, lack of doubt, of nothing doubting, nothing lacking. We're laying this on the table. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. This tables, these tables that has turned. It's going to be right before our, before the world. Some won't like it. That's not our problem. 
This table is being set before the world to show, to be a replica, to be a, 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 a symbol of what love looks like, what love sounds like. Emperors and kings and queens and gods and goddesses, empresses. It's a foundation, a table that is turned over and it's going to be prepared. It is being prepared right before the world. No shame. No game. But this is what true love looks like. And the table is being prepared for the world to see. Set up on a pedestal, this divine connection. You're not doing it on purpose, but it is what it is. This is God showing up and showing out through that divine connection. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. This is a divine connection. This is anointed. This is power. This is glory. This is divine. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. That person, that divine couple, that connection. Just as they receive grace and mercy and love from their higher power, their source, their God, my Father, we expound the same towards our companion. We lay it on the table. We allow our mates to be who they are. They're not changing, growing for me. They're changing and growing for their God, for their higher power. They're living to be a a vessel for their source. So the goodness and the mercy that they receive is the goodness and mercy that is being released. Not walking on eggshells. Not holding grudges. Not easily provoked. Not being insecure, doubting. Suspicious. No. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives in this divine connection. I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. This is a house that God is building. Oh, my father, this is a house that that you're building. It's not made by the hands of man. These are vessels that are filled with divine love, a divine presence that is released in this natural world to build a house filled with jewels and love. Amen.